What is people going nation? I'm back again with another video today, boy. Or everything metal like jello and shell with you guys. But if you haven't subscribed as yet, then what are you doing, brother? So now today, 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 today. What do you mean today? We're gonna be doing a how to cook brung dung. Brung dung is one of the national dish. One of the undiscovered food in Grenada right here, you know what I mean? Other people just eat brown but they really know how to make it, you know what I mean? And they'll be grieving for it because I grieving for it right now. That's what me and your chef man himself. You think mother like jello, sure? Yes, sir. You think mother? I think mother like jello. Don't know. We in the place, we in the place. Gangster chef, you know what I mean? Gangster chef. And yes, we have a certificate to show. We have our certificate to show that we are. Well, <laughs> Carl is. I don't have something to, I don't have something to, to show. But Carl is a chef, you know what I mean? So just a whole pile of knowledge we'll be giving out today. And then Carl. You know knowledge, what I mean? knowledge is key, you know? Yeah, because you need to know how to make these things, you know, to satisfy your belly, to satisfy your cravings. Yeah? So let's, let's, let's get like a nice little shot of my boy walking up there and thing, you know what I mean? Very good. Cool For the persons who are watching that for the first time, where you just got up there? In wheat towns, they say chive on time, mm. or chives, you know? Mm. But the real town for is green onions. Green, green onions. onions. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is onions. a thing. That is something I for myself learning for the, for the first time, you know? This is green onions, you know what I mean? That's the green onions. And then these little boys here, mm. they call them the yellow onions. The yellow onions. So, are you, cut, are you, are you, are you preparing that then for? That one in the pot? Yeah, that one to go and make the pot get the flavors, you know. Oh, so that for the flavors. So yes, yeah, so then right now we're doing it like a preparation and thing for the pot. As Carl said, we're doing the seasoning part first. So why you have to peel out the um the shell of the onion? Why you can just chop it or so? Well, if you want to eat the shell, it's up to you. <laughs> so why you say the shell is not healthy then? No, you don't need to eat the onion skins now. But is it isn't it not healthy? Not healthy. You can't mm -hmm. digest. You can't digest? No. But if you, if you put it in the pot, do you think it will dissolve? No, it cannot dissolve. It can dissolve? You ever tried it? Not to try it. Uh, uh, it just, that is common sense. Oh! Guys, also on a note, if you had like a bubble in the, in the background, that's because, that because we had the dog food going on there. If you want to cook, learn to cook dog food as well, then <laughs> check some wells, check some wells. If you're going through a phase in life, you know, mm -hmm. and you really think, and you realize you want to cry and you don't know nothing, yeah. Just cut some onions and you know. Onion, okay. yeah, so I don't know. Boy, this oh. one is like a cry boy. <laughs> <laughs> watch me. So to all them girls, they watch me. I ain't getting horn, I ain't getting stress. Is it okay? Onions stress are making me cry. Oh, onions are making me cry. Oh, onions are making me cry, boy. Only right now crying too. Right now crying too. What? So we have the yellow onion and we have green onions, isn't it? Yeah. You know what I mean? So we have onions and we have seven and on top here. Now we have some garlic boy. Some little garlic boys, you know what I mean? And you should know, when I look cooking too, when everybody is cooking, everybody must get a little tear in their eye, you know why? Because when you're prepping, these, these are the scents that are, you know, comes up in the air and give it a special aura. You're squeezing the, the garlic? Well, I just have a way to get it to mm. cut up small, you know? Oh, so you like when the thing cut up small? I don't <laughs> <laughs> more, yeah, speak up there, please, more. Hello, hello. That's it. That's it. I don't know. So this is the dog food. The dog food going on, good. You know what I mean? Even for me, I just feel to eat the dog food in them. Honestly, I think it honestly because okay, it looks so good. What's the presentation of it? What's the presentation of it? You know what I mean? Gee, then dogs happy. It's also other way if the chef man would have cut up fig and peel up fig and thing. So the chef man put aside the fig. You have a little seasoning here, garlic, onion, and seven time. And if you move right here again, see, man, cut up, man, cut up, but you man, that's really cut up thing fine here. Yeah. Man, cut up, tucky boy, tucky, you know, tucky, hard, hard, hard. Man, trim up that, yeah. man, trim up that fence, yeah. Right now, my boy, my boy is playing up some, some potatoes, you know, some potatoes. So, in a, in, a, in, a, in the case of that, why is potato is essential to the pot? Mm. Well, as I say, brown dog, mm. brown dog is like oil dog. Yeah. Oil dog is a one pot meal, brown dog. Mm. It's one pot meal. One pot meal. When I cook, uh -huh. I cook with love. So everything is what you're doing here, you see, is love. So um, in terms of our relationship now, that is same. You apply that same kind of procedure. That same relationship. Kind of uh, relationship. In a relationship, if you yeah. don't cook with love, uh -huh. then hard luck. The lady will leave you for surety. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that was that girl. You? <laughs> <laughs> I'm cooking some ramen all day, every day. You know what I mean? <laughs> 
Sorry for the ramen lovers, I want to say what. To big up all my ramen, ramen bridging and them, I don't know, that's how we make it in life. Oh no, that's how we still stay strong up to this day. Big up to all my ramen bridges and them. Right now we have the season of the, of the, of the turkey. You know, the season of the turkey, Carl, which is the, um, this is the best seasoning to use for any season, this, this, this type of meat and them. No, strictly local, we just deal with it now, but right about now, we mm. don't have no local seasoning bin, so we're just trying to use a little of everything, you know. Yeah, so we have the apple the chicken and the, yeah, and that's every it. Little, every little thing will go fine, you know, mm -hmm. you just use a little of it to just, Give it a flavor. That but now the local seasoning is the best seasoning for that, you know? Mm -hmm. What do you call a technique there? How are you holding up the chicken? What do you call a technique? Well, right about now you're massaging the chicken, you know? Oh, you're massaging the turkey so the seasoning could get into mm. the turkey, you know? <laughs> you know when you put salt in thing, you move from a high concentration to a low concentration. Look for that. that oh my God. God. This is the guy with the certificate. This is the guy <laughs> with the certificate. <laughs> So guys, just to tell you, this is all the preparation fees. This is all the preparation fees. We go show you how which one going first and which one going second into the pot. So right now you're massaging the floor. They don't say massaging, they say pong the floor, boy. Oh, Rot so tongue to use right there, right, you pong so the floor. You're massaging the meat, but you're ponging the floor. Right? Yeah, you have to pong the floor, man. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, I feel that this that man here is the love chef, eh? <laughs> All that thing I'm doing, just put just, just putting love in everything. Yes, yeah, so I put love in everything. Put love in everything. You don't cook a vex food. Yet. Cook vex food. Mm. I must have cook vex food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the watch me. The vex food come out any different. Did the vex food come out any different than the love food? Well, the vex food. Mm. It, it was high for yeah. the love food to be perfect then. Oh. The lady had to make sure she cook and prepare for me. And if she don't do that, and if she don't do that, there's something other wrong. <laughs> Applying pressure. I'm ponging up the flower, you know. I flower tight. Guys, guys, if you're from the Caribbean, it's only right that you bust a dance when you're talking, you know what I mean? Goodness! Speed, speed, speed! Hey! I say, I say, thanks for life! Thanks for food! And now go mash up brown down tonight! Thanks for life. Hey, thanks, thanks for food. Life. Hey, we about to make it. We are about to make it. The brown dong ding. Yes, we are about to make it. Hey, hey, hey. The brown dong ding. We are about to make it. The brown dong ding. Yeah. Voila! Voila! Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the brown down. Turkey. This is how you make brown down. This is how you make brown down. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, yes, ladies and gentlemen, and we end this vlog here today. 
or like I give a shout out to Yes, you want today's shout out for commenting the best comment on the last video Guys, if you want to win yourself a shout out, all you need today is comment on this video And you'll be able to get a shout out in the next video So yes, Nick Nation, until next time, we out here brah Peace I gonna eat my brown dung in peace I gonna eat my brown dung in peace later It's between me and you I see it in your eyes, I know you want me eat the food I know we go bring our vibes this year Your food finished, cook already, okay, just now, yeah Go and lie down, go and lie down Go and lie down with me tricks Magics.